Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusilo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about two Collier students arrested after tips of suspicion, insurers considering short-term policies for consumers, and more. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, and this is the Morning Report. Student tips led to arrests at two different schools in Collier County on Monday for bringing knives to school. According to CCSO, Benjamin Mendoza, who is 18, was arrested and charged with possession of a weapon on school grounds and disruption of a school function after he brought a knife to Palmetto Ridge High School. Detectives searched the student's backpack after receiving tips that he had brought a gas mask to school last week and made disturbing statements about the mass shooting in Las Vegas. The bag contained several items, including disturbing drawings, a map of the school and a note that said shoot up school. He was then placed under arrest. A 13-year-old was also arrested Monday for bringing a knife to Corkscrew Middle School on Monday. Deputies and school administrators searched the student's locker after receiving a tip that the student had posted a picture on social media of himself holding a semi-automatic firearm. Those reporting the post said that there were no threats accompanying the photo. Both investigations are still active and ongoing. When the Providence VA Hospital started offering acupuncture for chronic pain, those suffering saw it as an opportunity to get treatment without the side effects or dangers of becoming addicted to pain pills. Although long derided as pseudoscience and still questioned by many medical experts, acupuncture is increasingly being embraced by doctors and patients, sometimes as an alternative to powerful painkillers behind the nation's opioid crisis. The military and veterans affairs medical system has been offering acupuncture for pain for several years. Some insurance companies cover it and now now a small but growing number of Medicaid programs in states hit hard by opioid overdoses have started providing it for low-income patients. Federal research evaluators say there's some good evidence acupuncture can help patients manage some forms of pain, but they also have described the benefits of acupuncture as modest and say more research is needed. Among doctors, there remains lively debate about how much of any benefit can be attributed simply to a patient's belief that the treatment is working, or the so-called placebo effect. Acupuncture has been practiced in China for thousands of years, and in government surveys, 1 in 67 U.S. adults say they get acupuncture every year. That growth has taken place even though most patients pay for it themselves. 2012 figures showed that only a quarter of adults getting acupuncture had insurance covering the cost. Now two-thirds of the military hospitals and other treatment centers offer acupuncture. The Trump administration Tuesday cleared the way for a lower-cost limited alternative to the comprehensive individual medical plans required under former President Obama's health law. Proposed regulations from the administration would allow health insurers to sell individual consumers so-called short-term policies that can last up to 12 months, have fewer benefits, and lower premiums. The plans would come with a disclaimer that they don't meet the Affordable Care Act's consumer protections, such as guaranteed coverage or the requirement to offer robust benefits. Insurers could also charge consumers more if an individual's medical history discloses health problems. Nonetheless, administration officials said they believe the short-term coverage option will be welcomed by people who need individual coverage but don't qualify for the ACA's income-based subsidies and face paying the full cost of their premiums. United Healthcare is already positioning itself to market short-term plans, but others in the industry see them as a niche product for people in life transitions, like in between jobs, moving to another state, or retiring before Medicare kicks in. Consumer advocates say that patients have to read the fine print carefully to make sure the plan will cover their medical bills. The administration's proposal will be open for public comment for 60 days. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at DamplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.